Hi, Brent Haynes with Wood Sound Flutes. I have some bass flutes I want to share with you today with the purpose of uh, illustrating just what uh, ergonomic changes we can make to a flute to help it be easier for a person to play. Uh, the flute in my hand right now is a Base A olive wood flute. It is currently available on my website and it does have an amazing sound. Um, as you'll find out here momentarily. But what I want to show you on this flute is how we ergonomically have changed the instrument or created the instrument so that it's easier for a person to play. So if you notice these holes right here, the t these two holes are in line with the center of the flute. But then this bottom hole is offset just a little bit to the right side. The reason for that is when I reach down, if I'm reaching down and I've got a long stretch, my finger naturally comes to the offset just a little bit. And so that helps make it easier to play. You can see when I'm reaching down that makes that a little easier. We've done the same thing to the top flute, or to the top holes, because again it makes it a little easier to hold. Just by, instead of reaching this way, I reach here. If you look at the change in my hand, here's center, here's the holes where the hole is offset and it reduces the amount of bend, the amount of bend I'm having to put in my wrist. Okay, the next thing we do to ergonomically change the flute is I put a side blow on this flute. Now if this flute were an end blown flute, I would have to reach like this and play it like this. Now I'm big enough that I can do that. I could play it. But look at the bend that it puts in my wrist right here. Look at this bend. That bend is a fact of having to reach down. Now some people actually play with their fingers straight out. Those people have almost no chance of playing this flute because they have to really manipulate their hands and it puts a tremendous amount of stress on the bones and ligaments of the hand and wrist. So what I've done to this instrument is I put a side blow on it and that allows me to bring the flute in like this to my chest and I, I have the left hand crossing over to the, my chest to the top hand and my right hand just comes and it rests right against my belly and I hold the flute right here and blow into the tube right here. Now I'm actually, I play goofy hand. I play with my left hand down and my right hand up but I've had to teach myself to play uh, ambidextrously because you know a lot of people play with their right hand down. So when I typically, when I make an instrument like this, I'll make it so that it's a right hand down uh, position because that's a majority of what people do. But we can make it so that it plays over here as well. You just need to request that and I can do that for you. So let me go ahead and give you an example of what this instrument sounds like.
So one of the fun things about this flute, and I just love playing with it, is it has this ring to it. So when I do the you can hear that ringing down the flute. And it just echoes, you can hear it echoing down the flute, which I think is pretty awesome. It does that because this is a hardwood flute. The next flute I'm going to show you is a redwood burl flute. This is a softer flute that also sounds amazing, a warmer sound, but um, but it uh, it has a great uh, sound, but it doesn't have that same kind of echo as it bounced down the flute, if you listen. Beautiful, beautiful sound, but it doesn't make me want to make those echoing sounds, which I don't know. It's just different. It's a different thing. It's got a lot of volume. It's very warm, very rich, um, just a really gorgeous instrument. And again, has the side blow on it, has the offset holes, um, so it forces this to be a right hand play flute. Um, anyways, this is Redwood Burl. And the nice thing about Redwood Burl, by the way, is that it's very light. So there are a lot of advantages to a light flute uh, for someone that uh, perhaps uh, the, uh, the ladies that want to play. Uh, these lighter wood flutes are just a little easier on the hands. Whereas that um, olive flute, the base A, this one, that's probably almost twice as heavy as that Redwood Burl flute. So the last flute that I want to share with you is made out of um, ash and this flute is nice because it's ambidextrous it can be played either way you notice the holes are all straight this is a traditional flute um, this is the redwood burl and this flute are both in the key of B bass B and so I can play a bass B very easily I'm big enough that this is easy for me to play you can see it puts a little bit of bend in my wrist but it's not arduous and it doesn't hurt when I'm playing and it doesn't hardly put any bend in my top wrist or my right hand and so it makes it very comfortable for me to play. This particular flute is the first of its kind. It's designed to look like a branch and you know we've got the mouthpiece here that looks like the wood carved down into the heartwood um, with the, uh, the brown, dark brown coming out here and then it has this really wild totem on it that looks just like a uh, a branch or a stump, you know, with a couple of branches coming out of it. I think it's really cool. This flute was the uh, brainchild of Alex Booth, uh, my right-hand man here in the shop, and uh, I really, I really enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. Additionally, it's got a really amazing sound. Mm -hmm.
So, bass A, or bass B, flute in ash, very, very fun. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was a little bit instructional on why we make some flutes side blown and why we make some straight. Um, they can be both, actually. Uh, often, I'll take a flute that, like if uh, someone bought this flute and wanted a side blow put on it, we could put a side blow coming out of the flute right here and then put a cork in this mouthpiece and blow in the side blow, uh, or left hand if we wanted to. And then, if somebody wanted to then take the cork out and put that in the side blow, they could. And so the flute could be both, a side blow and a, an end blown. So that's a, kind of a nice thing that we can do here in the shop. What that means to me is that it opens up a lot of the low flutes um, for people that don't have long arms and things like that to be able to play because we can turn basically any flute, a low C or a low D, into a side blow and make it something that most people are going to be able to play. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, you can reach me at 801-822-1415 or brent at woodsounds.com. I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you later.